right, we are getting ready to transition to our award announcements. Uh, and it gives me great, great pleasure to introduce a really phenomenal leader, not only on, our, on this campus, uh, but throughout the community, throughout our state. Uh, it's a great colleague of mine. We spent a lot of time together talking about equity, diversity, and inclusion. He's our city council person, none other than Mr. Greg Evans. Let's receive him with a round of applause. I just turned 62 last month, so, right. you know, there are, there are things that slip through my hands occasionally. Um, but uh, thank you for the introduction, uh, Dr. Dorsett. Uh, yes, he is right. We spend a lot of time on Zoom together uh, in various meetings with uh, chief diversity officers across the state. Uh, and I'm proud to call him a brother and a colleague. Uh, and I am glad that you were in service in the Corvallis NAACP, uh, one of the institutions I worked uh, closely with some of those people up there when I was state president of the NAACP uh, to get going and sustain, and I'm glad that it's, it's continued to sustain. Um, as some of you may know, we have a, an African-American mayor in the city of Albany now. And uh, we also have an African-American mayor in Oregon City now. And so we have a lot of things that have changed over the years uh, that when I came here 36 years ago uh, were not in place. Uh, Olivia, I remember when you were a little baby and your mom was carrying you around LCC when she was a student here, Ayana, and uh, president of uh, the BSU at the time. And so Ayana was responsible for uh, keeping the BSU moving forward and going, and uh, you are stepping into the perfect role uh, of her, the legacy that uh, she created at this institution. And by the way, Ayana is one of our successful, really successful alum alumni because she is a teacher now as well. So, um, you know, one of, the, one of the first people that I met when I came to Oregon and I came to Eugene were Sarah and Randy Ross. And uh, they started Honey, they started the Martin Luther King celebration uh, in the 80s here. Um, and that led to celebrations here at uh, Lane Community College and particularly the citywide and countywide celebration uh, that was uh, started in 1987 uh, by ASLCC. Um, and the first person that uh, was a keynote speaker here for us was uh, Reverend Ralph Abernathy. Uh, and later we had uh, Yolanda King, Martin Luther King III, Fred Shuttlesworth. Uh, many of the civil rights pioneers have come through Eugene on uh, Martin Luther King Day and have spoken to us with words of inspiration um, and motivation uh, that have resonated uh, throughout this community over the years. So um, my role tonight is to do presentations for awards. And one of the things I first have to tell you is that our awardees are not present tonight. So I will be accepting on their behalf uh, but let me just tell you a little bit about them, uh, and then, um, you know, I'll, just, I'll hold it up like the Oscars, right? You know, here, there, there's, this, this, this is our Oscar award. Um, uh, Carla Gary um, is a native Oregonian, and uh, Carla couldn't be with us tonight. Uh, she is traveling, uh, but Carla has been uh, one of the stalwarts in the community, one of the people that I have relied on over the years and many people's lives that she has touched 
uh, not just at the U of O when she was working at the University of Oregon, but in our Rites of Passage program here at Lane, uh, she was one of our first instructors. In fact, she was the first instructor that I hired uh, back in 1996. And uh, she uh, completed uh, her undergraduate degree at the University of Oregon. She was the first black cheerleader at the University of Oregon. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Um, and uh, she then went on to complete her Juris Doctorate degree at the University of Iowa. She also served at the University of Maryland, the University of Pittsburgh, came back to the University of Oregon for a number of years and worked in multicultural affairs uh, as director of that uh, office at the University of Oregon. And so her contributions are numerous. Uh, they are all outstanding. Uh, currently, I know that she is uh, working on contract with the Oregon Department of Education and working on the African American Student Success Program and Plan and doing fantastic work there. Our second awardee tonight is Dr. Stanley Coleman who is on faculty here at uh, Lane Community College. Uh, Dr. Coleman I met, he is also from Louisiana. Uh, I met Dr. Coleman about, uh, oh God, 15 years ago, maybe somewhere, it's, it's a little squishy now. My, my memory is not as good as it used to be. Uh, but Dr. Coleman is uh, an actor, a performer, a writer, a speech instructor, and uh, he is currently um, uh, directing and producing a play uh, here in, in, in Eugene, um, A Lesson Before Dying, which is uh, a Walter Mosley uh, story. Uh, Walter Mosley is one of our great African American authors, and uh, he is also uh, producing the play Best of Enemies. And so uh, he's a very busy man. He still teaches. He still works closely with students. And he has a passion for working with African American students and seeing African American students become successful and thriving uh, within their communities and within their families. So it's my pleasure to hold up both of these awards, one for, Do for, for Dr. Coleman and the other for Carla Gary. I guess we can call her Dr. Gary because she's got a JD. Um, and uh, say congratulations, thank you for your service, and uh, I will uh, let Dr. Rashid pass these on to them when they get back home. All right, thank you.